like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars it's important for you to understand that the believers need to grow holistically it's been my emphasis that if your growth does not capture everything meant for your holistic development let me tell you this when satan comes to attack you he does not just attack you he studies how the pattern of training that you have been submitted to if satan finds out that in your training prayer was the emphasized he will route through that area if satan finds out that prayer was exaggerated as against the word of god he will route through that if he finds out that the place of character was not taught you he will route through it if he finds out that success influence and other kingdom teachings were not captured in your experience he will leave you to keep practicing priesthood while he destroys you using the tools of need satan does not just attack like that so he comes to find a family that loves god sincerely consecration hunger but they do not know anything about the economic system of the kingdom he will fashion his he will want to attack their prayer life but he will not attack the prayer life by attacking prayer directly he will use the area of ignorance to so distract them to a point that the next time the man of the house says all right everybody let's come for prayer the wife will turn and say i don't know who this your god is but i'm tired of this thing and by the time the wife frowns at her husband he will go back and say god you had her me too i'm tired it's just i didn't say my own <laughs> are we together imagine a doctor that never went to anatomy class imagine a doctor that never went through surgery teachings and then you find yourself in a hospital and he says i want to help you you will not even pay come and lie down come and do what you just lie down and he carries an injection like a knife wanting to stab you who taught him that strategy the quality of believers that we are producing because of the kinds of things that we are teaching are we together it is important to touch the various areas and the various aspects of the the, the kingdom life but we must never de-emphasize or overemphasize the truths of the kingdom now i i submit to you that it is a very difficult thing difficult because every one of us is already given a dimension to function and the dimension you are given will usually be your emphasis that is where the need for the other dimensions of the body comes in god does not give you the labor to learn everything by yourself you can outsource the dimensions you do not have through humility and meekness that means god is training me in the prophetic so my own assignment will be consecration fasting and prayer i will not have the time to go and learn under you know a business school or learn under a financial mentor and god will save me that burden because there is somebody doing the work for me but i must honor the person to say listen while i was fasting and praying and rolling on the ground for one week god was dealing with you too i am not better than you simply because my training looks more spiritual i now submit to what you are doing please help those under the anointing one lecture from this guy who has spent five years learning the principles of the kingdom will now empower me in addition to what i have and then the guy too there is the side effect because for focusing learning about the economic system of the world as against his spiritual life he must balance it too and if he ignores me he will be wealthy but one attack on his life because he does not understand priesthood he can't defend himself one wrong investment motivated by the spirit of poverty can bring that man down are we together
I'm coming back to this point. Let's go to the third level. The third level, and, I, and I, this is where I want you to pay attention to. The third level is where believers are thoroughly trained and thoroughly mentored, but they are not connected to purpose. Let me tell you, there is a danger for any assembly when you keep pumping anointing in people revelation revelation and the people don't know what to do with it the body of christ is in trouble for this one is why many many men of god keep having a headache when you get young people a young man a young lady you are teaching them about finances teaching them about prayer and fasting do you not know that knowledge has an implication the goal of all that investment is that there must be an opportunity for them to deploy. By the time a man is fasting 100 days, yet there is nothing for him to do in church. Are we together? Praying. The kind of power that guy has. One day he's going to say, listen, I, I don't know what to do with all this fire locked up in my bones. That's why you can give him opening prayer of two minutes and he will turn it into prophecy for one hour it's not that he's bad the fire is too much and you have not told him what to do with it and there is no opportunity to deploy it every time you begin to teach people right and to mentor them there must be in your training the systems of deploying it this is true for ministry but this is also true for government if you keep training young people you are having graduates coming graduates coming and there's no platform to be able to help them let me tell you something somebody is going to come into their life and say listen don't mind this person you can start your own church if god is calling you that's fine but if god is not calling you that that becomes the advice or you can start your own business or you can do whatever it is let me tell you it's a risk to enlighten people and leave them without purpose are we together so i'm praying every day with you i'm fasting every day with you you've now graduated from the school of ministry impartation every service you are falling down and standing up revelation after revelation a day will come knowledge is what will frustrate you not ignorance you will find yourself overdoing things and you'll be angry because the goal is to have expression something within you keeps crying for expression Are we together? That's the reason why a man who keeps teaching his child say how to drive. Help them please. You are teaching someone how to drive his car. You are teaching him how to do something and you leave him there. The gentleman can drive and yet there's no car to drive. One day, what do you think is going to happen? Talk to me. You did it so you know. One day when he's not around, you say, listen, uh, this this fire is 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 this this thing i need to drive 